Bonjour les élèves. Dans cette leçon, on va étudier le passé composé. I will share my screen. Voilà. D'accord. So, le passé composé. Le passé composé est facile. It's easy. Here are the learning targets for this lesson. I can describe and recognize past actions by using and recognizing the past tense, le passé composé. Uh, I can use, uh, so yes, this is the learning target. Uh, so to describe past actions, the French use a past tense called the passé composé. So the passé composé is a compound tense. This means that it is, it has more than one part. It is composed of two parts. The first part is called auxiliaire, l'auxiliaire or the auxiliary or helping verb. It's the verb that helps it to the past, right? So, and the past, the past participle is the second part of the passé composé, and it gives meaning to the verb. So we have l'auxiliaire et le participe passé. The auxiliary may change forms in the past participle, but the past participle does not, okay? So we may choose different forms or different verbs for the auxiliary or helping verb, but the past participle, uh, there is a rule to make it and it does not change. Here is the formula for the passé composé, auxiliary verb plus past participle, or le verbe auxiliaire plus participe passé. So, the first part is the auxiliary. Avoir, the verb avoir that we know already, is the most commonly used auxiliary verb. So, we'll start by reviewing the form of avoir. So, we already know now that avoir, in its conjugated form, is the most common helper verb or auxiliary verb for the passé composé in French. So, let's review how it's conjugated. J'ai, tu as, répétez s'il vous plaît and fill out your lesson notes. Il a, elle a, on a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont, meaning I have, you have, she, he, she, it has, we all have, you all have, they, feminine and masculine, have. J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons. Vous avez, ils ont. So, the verb avoir is in, in, um, it's called avoir in the infinitive or, or before conjugation. Once it's conjugated, it looks like this. Now, how do we form the passé composé? Again, I found two uh, expressive pictures. Pour former le passé composé, il faut deux éléments. To create the passé composé or to make it, we need two elements an auxiliaire, a helping verb, and we already learned how that avoir is another one. We will learn later that être, the verb être is another helping verb, plus the, par, uh, the pas, participe passé or past participle. Now, we learned how to conjugate the verb avoir, or remembered, we remembered how to do it. Um, now, the, we are gonna examine now how to create the second part of the passé composé for the regular verbs that end with er, ir, or re. D'accord? So, for a regular verb, it's based, the past participle is based on the infinitive. You change the infinitive ending to the past participle ending. Okay? So, here is the infinitive ending that we have to drop and replace it by the past participle ending. Each verb that is regular that ends with er, its past participle would end with e accent aigu. If the verb ends with er and it's regular, the past participle of that verb ends with e. If the verb ends with re and it's a regular verb, its past participle ends with u. D'accord? So er, e, 
I R I and R A R E U, like so. Parler is a regular verb. It means to speak. It ends with er. We drop the er and we replace it with an e accent aigu, and we get the second part of the pass of the passé composé, which is the past participle. Finir is also another regular er verb. So we drop the er and we replace it with an e fini, and we got the past participle. The past participle. Re, let's see an example. Vendre, to sell. It's a regular re verb. So we drop the re and we replace it with u and we get vendu. So vendu is the past participle of vendre. Like this. So let's look at the conjugation of the verb visiter, for instance. Visiter is a regular er verb. Right, it ends in er when it's in the infinitive form. So we drop the er as we learned in this uh, slide. We drop the er, we add e accent aigu, but we have to start with the conjugated form of avoir. Remember, this is the first section. So we have the subject pronoun, the past participle, uh, pardon, the subject pronoun, the auxiliary verb, the past participle. And then the rest of the sentence, like this. J'ai visité Paris. And why does visité, the, this past participle, end with e accent aigu? Because the verb in the infinitive ends in er. J'ai visité Paris. Tu as visité Paris. I visited Paris. You visited Paris. Il, elle, on a visité Paris, a, a musée. A we, or he, she, it visited a museum. Nous avons visité Paris. We have visited Dakar, pardon, or we visited Dakar. Vous avez visité Genève. You visited Genève. Et il et elles ont visité Monaco. Here we go. Now we conjugate the verb visiter in the passé composé with the auxiliaire avoir in the past participle visiter. I'll let you pause here and read this and try to compare. Maintenant, now, with, après, later. Okay. Um, so, here I'm gonna exit. Mm -hmm. For the translations, and I'm gonna project it one more time. Okay, I'm gonna present this slide. So, for Let's do a translation. For example, j'ai visité means, and this is uh, where English speakers have the most problems. I visited, I have visited, and I did visit. All these past forms of to visit can be translated or are translated in French with the passé composé j'ai visité. Here you go, here's an example. Mercredi, on Wednesday, j'ai visité Disneyland, j'ai mangé du pain au chocolat et j'ai bu des chocolats chauds. J'ai acheté un t-shirt. All the things that I did when I visited Disneyland. D'accord. Now, let's put the uh, two parts of the passé composé together. So, any form of avoir can go with any past participle. D'accord? J'ai parlé. Tu as fini. Il a vendu. Elle a écouté. On a répondu. Nous avons regardé. Vous avez choisi. Ils ont attendu. Elles ont puni. And so, when we look at all these past participles, what do they have in common? It's that they are conjugating it, conjugated with avoir, right? And all these uh, past participles are past participles of regular verb, but this is a regular ER verb. E -R verb. This is a regular IR verb. So we drop the IR and we add an E. This one is an RE or a verb on ER, vendre, to sell. So we drop the RE and we add the U. Parler, fini, vendu, écouté, répondu. On a répondu means we answered or replied. Nous avons regardé, we watched, vous avez choisi, you chose, you all chose. Ils ont attendu, they waited, elles ont puni, 
they punished. So, uh, as you uh, should be able to tell by now, regarder ends with a R, so it's past participles ends with a accent aigu. Choisi uh, is an IR verb, it's past participle like finir ends with E. Attendre like vendre, attendre to wait, vendre to sell, both of them take U for past participle. Um, so do uh, répondre to answer uh, and punir to punish. Now, some expressions that indicate uh, the time or that uh, could answer the question quand, when. Hier means yesterday. Samedi dernier, and I'll let you see and read the English translations, and all these are expressions that help us talk about the past. Hier, samedi dernier, avant, après, pendant, during, not all of them uh, um, imply the past tense, but some do. But they all indicate a, a time, you know, the, the, the time an action was done. Pendant, during, d'abord, first, ensuite, then, finalement, finally, et enfin, at last. Here are examples. Hier, nous avons joué au volley. Yesterday, we played volleyball. Nous avons joué. So joué is an ER verb. We drop the ER, we add an accent aigu, and we get the past participle, and we conjugate it with avoir, and we get we played. Nous avons joué. Samedi dernier, nous avons joué au foot. Uh, last Saturday, we played soccer. J'ai fait mes devoirs avant le weekend. I did my homework before the weekend. Vous avez lavé la vaisselle après le dîner? Did you wash the dishes after, the, after dinner? Pendant les vacances, nous avons voyagé. During vacations, we traveled. D'abord, j'ai acheté du pain. First, I bought some bread. Ensuite, j'ai préparé des sandwiches. And then I prepared sandwiches. Finalement, nous avons mis la table. And then, finally, we uh, set the table. Enfin, at last, or finally, uh, nous avons dîné. At last, we ate. Okay. Now, let's see how we can use and recognize the negative of the past tense, le passé composé, au négatif. Now, we learned how to conjugate the passé composé with the verbs with the verb avoir, with the helper verb avoir, with different past participles. Now we're gonna see uh, how we turn the, the past sentence uh, with the passé composé to the negative form. The negatives that use ne pas, ne pas mean not, right? It means not, are placed around the auxiliary verb only. So we learned that when we have a passé composé, we have two parts. We have the helper verb in pink and uh, the past participle in green, n'est-ce pas? So where do we place ne pas around? Always the auxiliary verb. And then the past participle goes after pas. So, je n'ai pas travaillé. I did not work. Nous n'avons pas étudié. We did not study. Marc n'a pas visité. Mark did not visit. So always the past participle is at the end, after pas, and ne pas are around the helper verb, avoir. Okay. Compare the affirmative and negative forms of the passé composé in the sentences below. The affirmative, j'ai invité Paul. The negative, je n'ai pas invité Marc. In the affirmative, Eric a vendu sa guitare. Eric sold his guitar. Il n'a pas vendu son vélo. He did not sell his bike. In the negative, the passé composé is formed as follows. So we have the passé composé. In the negative equals present of avoir in the negative plus past participle. Je n'ai pas étudié. I did not study. Tu n'as pas étudié. You did not study. Il, elle, on n'a pas étudié. Nous n'avons pas étudié. Ne pas goes around avant again. Vous n'avez pas étudié. 
ils et elles n'ont pas étudié. They did not study. So, essentially, what we did is, je n'ai pas, tu n'as pas, il, elle, on n'a pas, nous n'avons pas, vous n'avez pas, ils n'ont pas, which is the negative form of the uh, present tense of avoir, plus we Uh, we follow all of these conjugated forms with étudier, the past participle. I did not study, you did not study, he, she, it did not study, and so forth. Here is an activity that we can do together in class. So I thought to put a chart for the verb endings, regular past participles. These are the regular past participles. Each verb that is regular ending with a R, we drop the E, R, and we add an accent aigu for the past participle ending. Example, regarder in the infinitive becomes regarder with accent aigu, e accent aigu in the past participle. Uh, the verb ending, uh, right, the regular verb ending re will be dropped. We add an u, we replace it with an u for the past participle. Example, attendre, to wait. Attendu is a past participle. Uh, regular verbs ir, on ir, we drop the ir and we add an e. Uh, for the past participle, like choisir, choisi, uh, toute chose. So, er, uh, accent aigu, er, e, u, i, r, i. Now, I'm going to add here a list of uh, irregular past participles with avoir. We learned that the uh, ending or irregular endings of the verbs may be er, er, e, or er. Now we're going to look at the verbs that are irregular, like être. Être is an irregular verb to be. If you want to say I was, they were, uh, how do we form the past participle of être? We just have to memorize that it's été. For to have, it's eu. To say I had, you say j'ai eu. To do or to make the past participle, uh, which is uh, the verb faire, the past, past participle is fait. The past participle of to take or to order, which is prendre, is pris. The past participle of voir or to see is vu. And the past participle of to put or put on, which is the verb mettre, is me. So, être, its past participle is été. Avoir eu, faire fait, prendre pris, voir vu, mettre mi. D'accord, we come here to the end of this lesson with the passé composé. I hope you filled out the notes and we will accompany this with several practice activities. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir.